Hello my dear friends, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we will be discussing about allotropic forms that are structure of diamond, graphite and fullerene. Allotropy is simply a phenomenon wherein an element exists in two or more different forms that is in the same physical state but these different forms they have the same chemical properties but they differ in their physical properties. So, in simple terms we can say that allotropes are the different structural modifications of an element, right? Why different structural modifications? Because these allotropes are different in their structures, right? As compared to their other allotropes. This is because the atoms are arranged in a different manner. So, allotropes are simply when an element exists in two or more different forms, right? So, these different forms they are called as allotropes and these allotropes they have different structural arrangements right that is the atoms they are arranged in different manner in different allotropes right. So, that is the reason why allotropes they have identical chemical properties but they have different physical properties since the arrangement of atoms in the allotropes is different right. So, now friends, if we talk about carbon, carbon also occurs in nature in more than one form. In other words, we can say carbon also exhibits the property of allotropy. For example, carbon exists in nature in the form of diamond as well as graphite and also fullerene. As you can see, these three forms are the different allotropes of carbon, right? And these three different forms of carbon, they are the crystalline allotropes of carbon. Why crystalline allotropes? Yes, because crystalline allotropes are allotropes wherein the atoms, they are arranged in a definite and regular manner, right? So, these crystalline allotropes, they actually have a very high sharp melting point and boiling point. Also, they have a definite shape and geometry because the atoms that actually make up the allotrope, they are arranged in a very definite and regular pattern, right? So, now let us discuss about the first allotrope of carbon that is diamond. Now, friends, if we talk about the structure of diamond, in diamond, each carbon atom is sp3 hybridized, which means that each carbon atom is covalently bonded to the neighboring four carbon atoms. Over here, you can see each carbon atom is covalently bonded to four neighboring carbon atoms, right? Which results in the formation of a tetrahedral three-dimensional structure. So, in diamond, you can see there is a strong covalent bonding between the carbon atoms, right? Because of this, diamond is the most hardest natural substance on earth. And this diamond, it possesses a high density. The density of diamond is about 3.5 gram per centimeter cube. Also, it has a very high melting point that is about 3500 degrees Celsius. Also friends, diamond is a bad conductor of electricity. Now friends, let us discuss where is diamond used. We all know that diamond shines very brilliantly, right? Because of this brilliant shine of the diamond, it is used as a gem in jewelry. Also, since it is the hardest natural substance, it is used for cutting glass. Also, it is used for drilling the marble stones and drawing wires. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.